Hi there, welcome to Mind Builders Hub. So for today, we're going to discuss about the different body systems of our body. And those are skeletal system, the respiratory, the muscular, the circulatory, digestive, nervous, and integumentary, I guess. Those are the different systems of our body. And here, the human body is a marvel of biological engineering, a complex and interconnected system of systems. These various systems work in unison to support life, maintain balance, and enable our bodies to function effectively. Imagine the human body as a well-orchestrated symphony with each system playing its unique part, contributing to the overall performance. By understanding the roles, interaction, and function of this system, we gain valuable insight into our own health and the remarkable adaptability of our bodies and the complexity that defines human life. And this knowledge not only fosters a profound appreciation for the beauty of our biological design, but also empowers us to make informed decisions regarding our well-being and health. So let's embark on this exploration of the human body systems where science meets the wonder of our existence. And for our object objective for today about body systems, we need to identify the different system of our body and their main function. What do you think about this one? Pulling on the string will control the kite. Do you agree with that? How do you control your arms, your legs, and other body parts? Try to think of it. And do you think your body uses anything similar to the kite strings? Let's see. In our journey about the body system, our human body is made of several organ systems that work together to make sure the body keeps functioning and they work as a team. Each of them do have a function or a role to do, and that is teamwork. These are human body systems that work together as a unit to make sure the body keeps functioning. The interesting thing about organ system is none of them are able to complete their functions without the help of at least one other organ system. They are all interdependent on each other. They need each other in order to function. Let's start with the first one, and that is the circulatory system. The primary purpose of the circulatory system is to transport blood throughout the body by circulating. And in here, in our animation, you will see the primary organs or parts involved in the system. It includes the heart and blood vessels. The blood vessels are in three main parts, and those are arteries, veins, and capillaries. It transports or carries nutrients and oxygen through the blood to most parts of the body. It transports and even carries waste in cells and carbon dioxide away from the parts. Next is the respiratory system. In the respiratory system, the primary purpose is for breathing. Breathing means that you are going to take in oxygen and pushing out the carbon dioxide. The primary organs or parts involved are the lungs, the trachea, the bronchioles, and alveoli. For inhaling or breathing in, oxygen, which is good for our body, it gives it or was being given to our circulatory system to be transported throughout the body. Exhales means that you are breathing out, wherein you are breathing out carbon dioxide. The lungs gets this gas from the blood, which is circulating all over our body, and pushes it out of the body. Next system, 
is the digestive system. The primary purpose of the digestive system is to take in food, break down food into nutrients, which is good, and waste, which is unneeded. The primary organs or parts involves the following, our stomach, large and small intestine, and even the esophagus. It gets nutrients from the food and eliminate waste or undigested food. Next system is the nervous system. The primary purpose of the nervous system is to, is to control the body systems, all of our body systems. It is considered as the control center because it transports messages to and from the brain. The primary organs or parts are the brain, the nerves, the neurons, and even the spinal cord. It sends or sends messages to the entire body from the brain. It also receives messages from the five senses or processes it in direct responses. Next body system is the mas muscular system. The primary purpose of the muscular system is to give body movement possible. And of course, the primary organ is our muscle. Now, the muscles are attached to the bones. They work together. They work also with certain organs. Next is the skeletal system. In the skeletal system, the primary purpose is to give shape to our body. It also serves as support and even protection to our internal organs. The primary organs or parts are the bones, which includes some of the following, like the skull, the ribs, the vertebrae, the femur, and the pelvis. It protects the internal organs and it provides movement together with the muscles and it makes new red blood cells. They are working together. In what way they are working together? In terms of the respiratory and circulatory system, the circulatory system works very closely with the respiratory system to provide the body cells with needed oxygen and remove carbon, carbon waste. The heart pumps oxygen poor blood from the body to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. Gas exchange occurs in the capillary net surrounding alveoli. Like this in the animation and how this capillary takes in oxygen bring it to the blood and the blood removing the carbon dioxide and putting it back to the alveoli for ready for taking it out or exhaling what about the muscular and skeletal system how do they work together simple way they work together to create movement what about digestive and circulatory system? Blood takes nutrients from the broken down food and, well, transport it to where it needs to go. Without the digestive system taking in food, breaking it down, the rest of the body systems would not have nutrients needed to operate. In terms of the muscular and nervous system, the brain sends messages or signals through spinal cord and nerves to muscles to react and act, whether that is for moving. So to sum up, what is the meaning of system? When we say system, they are, when it comes to the body systems, then they are somehow composed of different organs that works together. It composed of components, even due to interactions, they have purpose and 
somehow they have also boundaries. What are the examples of body systems that we discuss? So as been mentioned, we have the respiratory, the circulatory, digestive, the nervous, the muscular, skeletal, and um, well, some other body systems like integumentary or excretory systems. And I hope you learned something from our discussion today of two um see you again in the next review of our mind builders hub science review good luck and thank you very much